everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to muffle drum sounds easily. This will be a full drumming tutorial, so let's get right into the video. This is the tom that I will be muffling over here, and I'm going to show you how to muffle the sounds really, really easily, okay? So listen to it now. You can hear it rings out, it's not muffled at all, it's really, really sort of ringy and dingy, basically. Now I'm going to show you the easiest way that you can do this using things you pretty much have lying around your house anyways. There's actually uh, evidence of when I did it in the past, uh, back in the day, like I must have done this maybe like 10 years ago or longer because I haven't played the drums consistently in a long time. So when I was playing consistently, I did it over here. Um, I did a version of, of it over here and over here. I did it or my dad did it. I can't remember now. But one of us did it um, and I'll show you how to do it right now. So essentially all that you need is a paper towel that I've ripped up, just a small piece of paper towel and then four pieces of duct tape, okay? So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna fold the paper towel so that it is relatively small. Okay, place it somewhere far away from where you would regularly hit. You can see these uh, batter heads, these batter drum heads are all scuffed up. I always hit around here as you can see. Me and my dad play these drums whenever we have time essentially. Uh, but these, uh, I hit over here so I'm going to place it up here. Okay, so all you, all you need to do is take that folded up paper towel, place it somewhere that you don't regularly hit. Get some duct tape and then just literally tape it down. Okay, just like that. Um, don't go crazy with it because, you know, I mean, eventually you're probably going to have to peel off the duct tape, but uh, tape it down like that. Okay, very simple and straightforward. I'm going to tape it like that. I just prepared this duct tape ahead of time, so I'm going to tape it like that. You want to tape all four of the sides down nicely so that you get a nice, uh, good uh, muffling, okay? A nice, good dampening. So listen closely to what it sounds like now. Way better. Like, generally, it's a better sound but it also muffles it, right? So this is a tom that is not muffled. Very ringy. This is a tom that is muffled. Much better. Now, if the drumming heads were in better shape, it would sound even better, but they're in pretty rough shape. They have needed to be replaced for many years. I just honestly don't play these drums often enough that I just I just haven't done it, but I will do it in the future. Um, but essentially, at the end of the day, that's the easiest way to muffle the drums. As an alternative, you can also just put duct tape on your drums. Okay, so like literally this little piece of duct tape right here, it'll do a little bit of muffling. So listen to this tom over here. I wanna make sure it's on camera. Yeah, you can see that, perfect. So this tom, Pretty ringy, right? If I just put a little piece of duct tape even towards the middle, a little bit less ringy, right? I can get an additional piece of duct tape, okay? This is what we had done previously. There was just duct tape, no paper towel. I can get another piece of duct tape over here, let's see. Much less ringy. So by putting a little bit of duct tape on the uh, drum head, you muffle the drums, okay? Um, in addition, you can also use like a gel, like they sell like drumming gels um, that you could just place on the drum. Those are good too. They work and they can be reused. And in addition, you can also get um, like a towel and place it over the drumming head. So I can place the towel over this and it'll muffle it, but it'll muffle it, it'll over muffle it. It'll muffle it significantly, right? What you can also do is get a towel or a pillow and place it in between the drum heads. So I can remove this drum head, place a towel in there and leave it in there and then put the drum head back on. I did that with my bass drum and my bass drum is significantly muffled. There's no ringing to it, no dinging. It's an aggressive sound. Much better than ringing out, right? And if I go on my floor tom right now, I got lots of stuff on here, sorry, I got all my notes on here, but if I hit my floor tom right now, you're gonna hear how ringy this is. This is no muffling at all. Right? So, really, really ringy. So that is how to muffle drums easily. I've shown you the easiest method. This is the best method by far, in my opinion. It's just quick and easy. You can remove them, and it's stuff that you have lying around your house anyways. Get a much better sound out of that drum. And that is essentially it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.